Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We are celebrating fourth Sunday in ordinary time. According to Saint Mark, the first miracles that Jesus performs was an exorcism in the synagogue in Capernaum. He freed the world from unclean spirit. Today we hear this proclamation. Notice the response of people. All were amazed, ask, What is this? A new teaching with an authority. He commands even the unclean spirit, and they obeyed him. This is the heart of good news that proclaimed. So it is not insignificant that the very first miracles that Jesus performed to free someone from the power of the devil, exorcism, were indispensable part of Jesus' mission. That is why, in many occasions, he cast out evil spirit, freeing people from dominant position. It demonstrates the power of the world. We not base gospel. When he first preached there, that they spoke of his authority, there was an expression in his word, then cast out the demon. They were amazed and said, he has authority even the cast out demon. Of course, Jesus also healed people from, from leprosy, those who could not walk and could not see and could not hear from physical and mental disorder. But later to the Hebrew said, Jesus destroyed the one who has the power of death, that is the devil. This is for him the first miracle was an exorcism. In today's gospel, Jesus performed the exorcism with just a few words. He commanded, quiet, come out of him. So was it the cry of the Great Depression or just being upset by emotion for a while? This was commanded that Jesus issued to the evil spirit who could not resist it. His word contained all this power to set free the world that is being healed in bondage by the father of lies. At his word, the world was first created, the moon, the stars, the animals, fish, sea, men and women, and his words once again, his creatures are free to walk in their full dignity, and they will must submit. That's why people were amazed, and that's why people said a new teaching with authority, with Jesus is the word of God. So his voice contained the authority of everything that kind of praise the human spirit or human heart. So we are just free to worship Him without fear. Every time we pray the Lord prayer, we Jesus gave us the prayer. We always pray when we gather for the for the Eucharistic celebration. We proclaim proclaim this triumph of love over the powers of evil, the great victory of Christ. So that the, so that the first petition in the Lord prayer. And the last prayer in the petition we connect with Jesus' power of exercising the evil one. We pray for the coming of a kingdom of truth and goodness, the kingdom of beauty and grace. And we know this kingdom will not be defeated because of kings of kings has defeated the evil on the cross. For he was crowned as a king. And the final petition, the Lord prayer, deliver us from evil. The very last prayer, Jesus tells us to include whenever we pray our Father, deliver us from the evil one. That is why we should pray every day. Begin our day in that same way and, 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 and end our day the way. When we are facing some difficulties, Pray to the Lord that will focus on His kingdom and ask for deliverance from the evil one. God always hear our prayer. Whenever we cry out to Him in faith, whenever we do that a quiet, all the voice around us, especially by the voice of the evil one. Therefore, today let us hear His voice, harden not your